Hello everyone, welcome back to TechnoCharts YouTube channel and in today's video, I'm going to talk of all about moving averages. So basically in today's video, I'm going to explain you the basics of simple moving average versus the exponential moving average and we are going to talk about the 21, 50, 100, 200 uh, EMA as well as SMA. Here. So basically what are the EMA and SMA? EMA stands for the exponential moving average and it is a quick and sensitive to recent price movements. It is more prone to breakouts. It has a less lagging compared to the small simple moving average. It is fast. It has faster response to price movements and it is used for shorter time frames. Basically, let's talk. Uh, let's see here that if we have uh, 10 price data here, 10 prices of 10 different days. So the order of importance is going to increase from right hand side to the left hand side. So the recent price, let's say, was 101 rupees. 101 rupee it was then 105 rupees etc etc so importance is giving is going to be given to the recent price and it is going to decrease as we go far to the price here right so simple moving average is basically giving equal importance to all the price data it is basically going to add all the prices and divide it by the number of days of um, the price here right so in case of simple moving average versus the exponential moving average the exponential moving average is much better uh, or is much better moving average and is mostly chosen by all traders compared to the simple moving average for long term trading basically you can uh, think of uh, think of using the simple moving average here right so let us now understand how do we apply the moving averages on in our chart of trading view here so just go to the indicator section here once you go to the indicator section, just type here moving average ribbon. So once you type moving average, you can see an indicator named as moving average ribbon. This helps you to apply moving averages, multiple moving averages. And in this, you can basically select the type of moving averages like SMA, EMA, WMA, VWMA. Uh, these are different types of moving averages. What we use is generally the exponential moving average. So just change it from EMA. Uh, from SMA to EMA here and we generally select the 20 EMA that is the red line for me the 50 EMA that is the green line and 100 and 200 EMA so there are basically four types of major moving averages that all of the traders use first we are going to discuss about the 20 EMA now you can use 20 EMA or 21 EMA it, is, it does not matter because the price is uh, the price is al almost or the moving average is almost going to be similar in this case and hence if you are using 21 EMA as well you can use that but stick to that price uh, or stick to the moving average here. So let us now talk about the 21 EMA here firstly. So 21 EMA basically is the short term moving average. 21 EMA is basically the short term moving average. It calculates the average price of the past 21 days and it is mostly used for momentum trading or momentum uh, trading here. So whenever a price is said to be above the 21 EMA, it is said to be in a strong short term uptrend and you never short a stock that is above the 21 EMA and you never buy a stock that is below the 21 EMA if you are doing short term trading here. So in this example, you can clearly see that the Tata LXE chart, when it, when it was in a strong uptrend here, you can clearly see where the stock price pulled back to the moving averages multiple number of times, always took the support and then moved away from the moving average. So whenever the move uh, in a short term uptrend here or whenever the strength trend is strong in a stock, you always have to wait for a pullback near the 21 EMA for the correct risk to reward here. Because if you buy a stock that has deviated away from the moving average, you have to keep a minimum stop loss of uh, minimum stop loss below the moving average. So in this case, your risk to reward ratio generally does not match. But once you see that whenever stock price has pulled back to the moving average, you can keep a stop loss just below the moving average and you can clearly see how the risk to reward ratio changes here. So you can clearly observe like for example, if you might have thought of buying a stock near this price here, in this case, you would have faced a loss because the stock pulled back, you would have exited. Every time you think of buying a stock, the stock has to be less deviated. The maximum deviation of a stock has to be lesser than 15% away from the moving average. That is the 21 EMA. And whenever you see that a stock price is below the 21 EMA, you can always look to a uh, shorter stock here because moving average in short term, uh, the short term moving average provides uh, the, the immediate resistance in this case. So let us look at the chart of Amar Raja battery here. So in case of Amar Raja battery, 
we can clearly see Amar Raja battery was initially in an uptrend and stock had taken multiple supports at the moving average here, here. And finally, when the stock broke down, you can see stock took multiple resistances here. There could be fake outs in the moving averages, but you should know how your stop loss has been kept and you should always manage that risk to reward ratio and always try to re-enter re whenever the stock price has reversed back in the uh, in the entire trend here, right? So here also you can see that the trend was slightly reversed here, but again stock pulled back and the trend has continued here. Let me now take a short three minute break to explain you about M stock, a zero brokerage platform where which can save you lakhs of rupees in brokerage in an entire year. And it is an absolutely free platform that you can start trading with. And let us look at the features of M stock here. So M stock by Mira asset offers zero brokerage for life across all products. There are no order limits. There is no subscription fee and there are no annual platform charges. Basically, you do not have to pay any kind of uh, charges for any kind of service that you take. So let us talk about the DMAT uh, and trading account opening charges here. So basically, if you pay 999 rupees, you can avail the zero brokerage for life across all products, be it delivery, intraday, FNO, mutual funds, IPO or currency. And if you pay 149 rupees and then you can take zero brokerage for life on delivery, mutual funds and IPO. You can pay brokerage of 20 rupees uh, on the intraday and uh, FNO and the currency here. Also, the, there is an optional service of 999 rupees and then you can get a free AMC for life. Basically, you can uh, avoid the 120 rupees payment that you have to pay every quarter for the AMC. And uh, this is a one time fee that you have to pay for the services that you are going to use lifelong here. And as you can clearly see, the brokerage there is a there, this is a zero brokerage platform and it is it offers the lowest charges in the uh, uh, industry here so basically let's say that if you are trading uh, a delivery based m stock offer zero brokerage and discount broker will also offer zero brokerage but if you talk about intraday and futures where m stock offer zero brokerage here but other platforms will uh, charge you up to 100 rupees in case of full uh, full broker and 10 to 20 rupees in case of discount brokers here right so if you see here basically this is a very good uh, this is a very good platform for people those who are trading uh, those are trading on a smaller capital and they can save a lot of money uh, in the brokerages that they are paying in other brokers here. Let us now see the brokerage. Let us now calculate the brokerage savings that you can do yearly uh, if you are using M stock. Let's say that you are trading in auctions here and you are playing, paying a flat 10 rupee per order or 20 rupees per order as the brokerage here that most of the most of the platforms are charging and even if you take let's say 20 trades in a day you are saving up to 96000 rupees in a year by by using m stock because of the number of orders if your trading is large then you are paying a very high amount of brokerage here let's say that you are also trading in intraday here and the brokerage per order is 20 rupees that is the flat and the number of orders that you do here is basically let's say 10 only then you can see that options and intraday equity combined you can save up to 1.5 lakh rupees in brokerage here by using m stocks basically so, so coming back to the moving averages part we have talked about the 21 ema which can help you to understand the short term trend of the stock so basically you can follow the simple rule whenever the 21 ema is sloping upwards it is called as an uptrend whenever the 21 ema is sloping downwards it is called as a downtrend and whenever the 21 ema is sideways it is called as a consolidation period so always buy in an uptrend and always sell in a downtrend here the second moving average that i want to want to talk about is the 50 ema here or the 50 uh, exponential moving average now 50 exponential moving average can help you to understand the short term trend of the stock and basically this is used for holding stocks that are for around 3 to 6 months period because this is a 50 moving average this it is a li li little uh, slower moving average because it, it does not help you to understand the short term trend and you can clearly see in this case it uh, 
Amar Raja battery was continuously taking resistance from the 50 EMA here. So multiple moving averages have multiple uses depending upon your uh, depending upon your requirements here. So if you are a short term trader, or let's say if you are a momentum trader here, which trades breakout, it is always suggested that you use the 21 EMA to understand and trade along the trend here. If you are a kind of positional trader, it is advised that you use the 50 moving average and take the take the decision based upon that trend. And the third moving average that I want to talk about is the 200 moving average. The 200 day exponential moving average is one of the most important moving average that can be set up on the chart. It is used by the institutional investors to understand the longer term trend of the stock here. So as you can clearly see, as soon as the a, a stock majorly breaks the 200 EMA, the stock falls. The, there is a there is always a deep pullback whenever the stock breaks the 200 EMA. So here we see the black line is the 200 EMA line and currently we see after the stock had broken down the moving average in August 2021, the stock had fallen 43%. So simply following a rule where if a stock stays above the moving average, then only I will go long. And if the stock stays below the moving average, then I then only I will go short or exit from the stock can save a lot of money here. So example hai ki the Amar Raja battery ka ki is, is case mein we can see that the stock had taken the 200 EMA resistance, 200 EMA resistance. And now here the stock is trying to take a support in case of the 200 EMA. So there are multiple examples here which can help you the, to understand how you can use the 200 EMA. So 200 EMA, the stock above the 200 EMA is considered as bullish, bullish in its long term trend. And if it is below 200, 200 EMA, it is considered as bearish. A simple rule of not buying stocks below 200 EMA can save a lot of money here. And basically, you can clearly see whenever the stock had broken the 200 EMA, there was a clear cut upside. In this case, there could be a lot of scenarios where there could be a lot of choppiness. Okay, so let me just explain you in this scenario that there are periods when there are a lot of choppiness and it may give you multiple buy and sell signals. To, uh, to avoid that, I have al already made a video about how you can avoid this false signals by using the moving average with the relative strength indicator. So I am going to put that link in the i button as well as in the description. You can watch that entire uh, trading strategy video here. So. Simple rule of filtration can help you to avoid these scenarios where the moving average gives you a lot of multiple signs and this is a drawback of using the moving averages because in, in, in sideways market, we do not understand the clear trend of the stock. So whenever the moving average has turned completely flat like this, whenever the moving average has turned completely flat like this, it is going to give you a lot of multiple signals and you can use a mixture of uh, two, three different indicators to under, understand the major trend of the stock and then take a decision based on that trend, right? So moving averages will help you to understand the trend of the stock in a much, very better manner. And let's take some more examples like Naveen Florin. So in case of Naveen Florin, we see how stock take had taken support multiple number of times on the moving average. And it stayed above the moving average and gave around 100%, 200% rally. Finally, it had pulled back, gave multiple closes below the moving average and moved again above the moving average here. Right? So you need to understand when to use the moving average and when to avoid the moving average in this scenario. So if you want an entire one hour session on the moving averages, where we are going to talk about multiple moving averages and how you can use that moving averages for breakout trading, do let me know in the comment section below and just comment moving average webinar and we are going to plan like we recently planned a full one hour session on uh, beginner's guide to break uh, beginner's guide to algo trading you can we can also plan something like this if there is a lot of interest among people and do check out m stock by mira asset as well if you want to save brokerage and Thank you, have a great time and do share this video with your friends. Investments in securities markets are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.